It is always asked, what do the Muslim want? Why do you stay after? We believe the black man should be free from the names imposed upon him by his former slave master. Mick McAvoy uh, gave me a call in 2020 and he told me about Stewart's book and he said, I I've got to read it. Uh, Mick uh, enjoyed uh, a different documentary that I did. Mick sent me the book and I read it and I loved it. Yeah. And uh, I think it started from there, right? Cassius Clay. He was box office. Anywhere he went, he could create a crowd. The purpose of the book really is to focus in on a period that was really, really important. The first fight that he wins the World Championship, heavyweight championship, and also to some extent, the transformation of his life in many key ways, not least his um, conversion to Nation of Islam. I was truly infatuated with this man. Just wow. standing in front of my candlelight. From the first moment I was in love. Whatever you do, pay to get in. Stuart has a lot of rich content in, in the book, Cash Your Sex, and so one of the tasks I had was to try to, you know, just make creative decisions about what to feature pro most prominently in the 90-minute the uh, feature documentary. So that took some time because it was like, how do you, what do you leave, what do you, what do you keep? And what uh, really drew me in was his spiritual transformation and uh, his transformation as a fighter and him deciding to change his name. And so we focused primarily on that in, in, in the documentary version mm -hmm. of Cassius X. And the key thing there is the title Cassius X, which mm -hmm. has, has a degree of controversy about it in as much as Muhammad Ali was very, very adamant that when he converted, that he had, you know, he'd abandoned his slave name. He was now Muhammad Ali. And there was a famous fight that he had with Ernie Terrell, where famously he would be shouting, what's my name, what's my name, what's my name? And that's grown over time for people to say, don't disrespect him by referring back to his name before Muhammad Ali. But for a period of, of his life, he was Cassius X. And the X signified his, um, uh, literally his cancellation of his slave name. The civil rights movement is just about to explode. Young black folks are hungry for something different. White America wants Cassius Clay to be the good guy. It seemed like some Americans wanted Muhammad Ali to be the quote unquote good guy and to convert to the nation of Islam and to be part of that uh, organization that the, the United States didn't know much about. Uh, scared some people, so yeah. he had to deal with that. And certainly the kind of forces of the state at that time, the FBI, were already tailing the Nation of Islam that, in, that they infiltrated into its ranks, and it was already in, the, in that sort of status where uh, it was an organisation that people didn't know about but were quite fearful of, and so right from the very start, Malcolm X and indeed Muhammad Ali were regularly pursued by the FBI and, and their entire lives uh, open to scrutiny. Hearing Elijah Muhammad really gave everything that was going on in his life at the time a purpose. The Nation of Islam were thought of as an ominous, shadowy group. White people who are guilty of white supremacy try and hide their own guilt by accusing the uh, Honorable Elijah Muhammad of teaching black supremacy. Well, we shot all of the interviews in the United States, and I think the largest task there were, were to find people who had first-hand experience with Muhammad Ali during that time. And I think the most um, riveting conversations that I had, one was with Jim Lampley, uh, the, the boxing commentator, um, and I got an understanding of how his appreciation for Cassius X evolved and how he went through some emotional challenges dealing with Cassius X transforming into Muhammad Ali. How am I going to be a fan of this person who uh, seems different to me? and also interviewing uh, Ambassador Atala Shabazz. I was really grateful that she granted us an interview and she shared with us how she, as Malcolm X's daughter, watched her father mentor uh, Muhammad Ali and guide him through this transformation process. But she commented based upon her opinion as just a young child and seeing Muhammad Ali as her big brother. And I really uh, think she added a great deal to the story. While he was like a younger brother for my father, he was a bigger brother for me, and it was stopped right in the middle. When the Honorable Elijah Muhammad cuts the man off, well then he's automatically cut off with all of his followers. 
I'm personally uh, very excited. This is uh, an opportunity for me to, uh, you know, yeah. see Stuart again and then work yeah. with him and to premiere the film in, in Scotland, which I think is really, uh, is fitting. It's, and, yeah, it's yeah. a spiritual home in the film, you know. Yeah. I'm free to be what I want to be and think what I want to think.